Hey guys, what's happening? So, got a screen to replace on this uh, broken uh, LG Stylo 4. So it should be the same for a Stylo 5. They're basically the exact same phone with just uh, more onboard flash memory storage. Alright, so, ordered this on Amazon. 35 bucks, but this is actually this is a screen. Uh, so, typically, um, you shouldn't waste your time if you don't actually have the digitizer. So if you don't have the it's basically nearly impossible if you just buy the actual glass without the digitizer. So the digitizer is basically the touch. When you actually touch the screen, that's what moves your stuff around. That's a digitizer. So, but yeah, don't even bother trying to just replace the glass without the digitizer because it's impossible. I've broken many, many screens trying to do that. So, all right, so let's get this up here. Let's put that down there. So, get this gun. I've got an honor box on there I have to get off. There we go. Right. So a couple things you'll need. Uh, I actually personally like the iJimmy. Uh, not iJimmy, the iFixit. Jimmy. And you need a heat gun to get that plugged in. I'm going to get the battery off. So I gotta take this back cover off so I can actually undo the battery and then hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. I might be able to do it without it because it's been already removed before. I've replaced a battery in this device before. Sometimes you heat up with the heat gun. It makes it easier to separate. It just softens up the uh, tape. Okay. Yeah, that's a replacement battery I did on this phone a while back. As far as I can remember, the battery connector was under here, so I have to take the top cover, you have to take the top plate off here. So a small Phillips screws around the edge. And that shit will give me access to the actual uh, ribbon cables. So there's a couple of ribbons. I'm going to undo the battery to remove power. And then there's actually the digitizer cable under here. I've actually worked on this phone several times. This is actually my kid's phone and he's broken the screen several times. But before, in the past, I had replaced the whole body. Um, where those are actually becoming harder to find. Like it was a whole plastic unit. I mean, I could still do that if I wanted to, but I wanted to wait the time to find it. But it's actually more expensive. And yeah, if you're going to actually have a kid and you're going to have a phone, and you don't want to keep on spending a ton of money, you need to get like a well, uh, a name brand phone, like either LG or Samsung. Um, just because the replacement screens are going to be a lot easier to find on the name brand phones versus the, the no-name phones. Okay. No particular order I'm doing this in. Okay. Alright, so now this thing is pulled up. Let's be able to pop this up. Be careful. There we go. So that's going to allow me to remove the battery right there, this little paper here. So that's going to remove the pa the battery power. And then this is the actual the cable down here is the actual LCD right there. It kind of uh, wraps around. I can't remember. I might have to actually take out the whole board too. Um. Yeah, I think I might have to. Possibly. This board might need to come out too. Yeah, I want to take the screen off and I'll find out because I, I just, I know with the other one I had to take the whole board out, so. 
Alright, so the board just pops up. Make sure you get the other ribbon cables off. Make sure you get the uh, SIM card tray out of there. Make sure this pop right out like that. So in the past I've always just replaced this whole plastic body. And, you know, for like an extra $8 you can get the whole body. But this time I decided to do attempt it with just the digitizer. So this should be come up through here. And right, so I'm gonna pull off, I'm gonna start heating up the digitizer with my air gun, and that way I can get underneath it and I have to get it separated from the body. It's nice and warm. You can see the oil on my test bench. Okay. Cool thing is, I don't really matter. It doesn't matter if I break it, it's already broken. That's. Yeah, I'm to get that tool in there. There we go. Careful not to jack up anything. Okay. Well, it's definitely a lot easier if you buy the whole the whole plastic for the extra money. So I gotta figure out how the ribbon cable is out of there. See, there's another layer I can get off here. Well, I thought the plastic. Actually, I just realized that the glass actually came off. This is kind of unusual for a phone to have the glass come off this easy, you know, from the digitizer. But that's the digitizer right there. That's your touch screen right there. Oh, it is cracked, though. Yeah, definitely has issues. Well, maybe it doesn't act. Nah, I can't tell for sure. Those might just be indentations from the cracked glass. Alright, so this little board comes up right here. And then that comes like that, the ribbon cable. Like that. I guess I'll keep the shielding too. I don't think this one actually came with shielding. So I'll take that. There you go. And let's compare the cables. Make sure I got the right one. It's gonna flip around. Like that. You can see that frame. So I'm just comparing to make sure the ribbon cables are the same. And it looks like they are. Yeah, sometimes these digitizers just are so stuck on there that um, you just can't get them separated and you actually break the digitizer so alright now I gotta get the get some new sticky tape on there if I don't have any make sure there's all the glasses off there I can see a couple of shards of glass in there now I gotta find my tape if I can find some I knew I bought this somewhere. So yeah, usually try to find a kit if you can with the tape on it. Um, I don't know if this stuff's any, any good anymore, but it's like really super fine, you know, sticky tape for the specifically for phones. But um, all right, so I'm gonna try to get some of this off of there. And uh, yeah, it's kind of hard to deal with. So yeah, if you can try to try to get it without the uh, tape. Or I mean, try to get it with the tape. Alright, so I got the tape on there. Yeah, so it's really just like a, some really thin, sticky uh, 
double sided tape and just get like a little pin to remove the one coating off it there we go and that will do that for all sides here okay. Now that I got the tape on there, here's a closer look at it. You're just going to try to, you're trying to put it on the edge. Hope you can see that. Just somewhere on the edge. Doesn't need to be perfect. Yeah, because the funny thing is, this stuff is not waterproof. So this thing comes off. It will protect the plastic. And then this thing just fits right through like that. And then I should be able just to get that right into my little thing here. I'm going to stick around and have it on there. Okay, and just push it in like that. Just push the phone in. Don't obviously don't push too hard. You want to crack your screen. <laughs> but. Okay. All right. Yeah, it's sticky tape is pretty good. Like I was saying earlier, you try, try to find a kit that comes with the sticky tape. Because it looks like the original one that came with it, it wasn't sticky tape. It was more like a uh, like a, some kind of adhesive, silicone adhesive. Okay. Then I can start putting the board back together. Okay, battery up. Get this stuff going. This board can come back on. It covers the the USB C connector and charging port. Okay, like that. And then the board comes back on. That. Make sure you get the urban cable up right there. That. Kind of sit there. It doesn't really snap into place. And you have your two little cables here, and that's just the new LCD cable. And let's see. Uh, where's power on this one? Okay, power's already connected. Don't to put the camera back on. This is the uh, front-facing camera. All right, make sure I got everything going in there. I know this was a useful USB cover thing here. As far as I remember, it was just like that. Alright, make sure we have good power connection. CDs on there. Get the lights back on this way. Okay, oh. forgot to put the shield on there. It's probably not necessary, but I like to be thorough. Well, I want to talk about this little shielding material that was on there. There's an extra shield. It shields the ribbon cable that comes from the LCD. All right, so I got to put that back together. And just a quick note: got to make sure you put put it back down together because the contacts on this board, the power switch right here, there's four contacts, and they contact the board right there. So if you, if your thing's not securely fit down, um, you won't be able to turn the phone on. All right, get. The the cover back on, plastic cover, it just snaps down in place. Hopefully I have enough contact to fire this up. I mean, typically you need more screws here and that gives it a good contact, but I might be able to do it like this. There we go.
Hey, looking good. Well, that's firing up when I put the other screws back on. I'm gonna go through and put the screws back on there. Cool. That's my pack cover. The adhesive actually still feels pretty good from last time I did it. So I'm just gonna pop it back on, get the screws back on. And these little pins line up with those pins for the uh, picture. Get that on there. Okay. Make sure you don't squeeze too hard. I don't wanna crack the new glass. I'm going to put it down here just a little bit. And I'm going to grab my, put it back in my otter box. Before I do that, and take off the new screen protector. All right.